dry weather, record high temperatures and strong winds. The end of a California summer can present perfect conditions for wildfires. And this summer, a freakish number of lightning strikes ignited hundreds of fires in a matter of days. The, the pattern of circulation is drawing in a lot of moisture from uh, off the coast of Baja California, which is unusual for this time of the year. And, and it's made it possible for these lightning storms to happen. Uh, that's extremely unusual and that has led to a lot of uh, wildfires. As the fast-moving flames advanced on several fronts across Northern California, thousands of people have been evacuated from their homes. Well, we got uh, woke up about 2.30, banging on the doors and saying, grab your kit and evacuate. At least 134 structures have been destroyed as flames burned through more than 280,000 hectares of land, forcing more than 60,000 people to evacuate. Huge billows of smoke above California were visible from space. Air quality has plummeted in and around California, with some cities recording the dirtiest air in the world. 11,000 dry lightning strikes. We had over a 72 hour period leading to this unprecedented challenge with these wildfires. This is an extraordinary moment in our history. Mother Nature has now joined this conversation around climate change. And so we too need to advance that conversation anew. Climate change has been a major factor in the escalating number of wildfires, which scientists say are also getting more destructive. Even more concerning, we've seen more and more of these fires reach the level of intensity where there really isn't much you can do to fight them. We should be investing more in pushing down the risk of wildfires. Part of the pressure is clearly from climate change. California is known for its policies that fight climate change at a time when the federal government has been rolling back its commitments. But the early arrival of this already intense wildfire season raises more questions about White House leadership and its contrarian views on science as the U.S. approaches the November presidential election. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.